does it. Aloha, English. Hey, you know, um, I had a conversation with a friend. It, it also was supported by, oh, my brother gave me some comments too from before. He's in the music, uh, not music, uh, television, movie, movie television stuff, behind the scenes, and, and, and so is this guy, and he's even doing some producing stuff, and this and that. Anyways, I ask for it, and they give me comments about improving my channel here, so um, I was thinking about different stuff, and, and uh, you know, I... I <laughs> I, I'm a newbie. I'm a tubi newbie, and I hope to put some, leave some breadcrumbs behind for other people who are starting off even more than me. You know, help be help, helpful, be honest, and be open-minded. You know, I I can make fun of the news and make fun of letters to the editor and and talk about creepy paranormal or whatever. And and the dysfunctional one it hates my guts for I don't there's no real reason. But you know, what's it all about, you know? I mean there's the facade I put in front of YouTube, try to be funny. Hopefully I'm hopefully there's a little humor in the midst of uh what can I say, the stuff going on. And that's what I'm kinda of doing with a little bit of newspaper and getting a different kind. But you know, I just taped the flag up there from Hawaii and and the Shakespeare thing and 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 the towel it's just a bunch of it's just stuff it's a pile of junk and I thought a towel over it would be good this what's the what's what's behind this what's what about that what's this you know and I thought hey you know something you know one of the interesting props and uh, there's you know I encountered a burial cave, and there's a burial cave story, and I got gravely injured. It kind of reminds me a little of that. I studied in biology a long time, and um, they're in art classes. They're on tops of pianos. There's tradi There's just all different kinds of stuff, and it's just kind of like I thought it'd be. F it's just a fun thing. It doesn't, you know. And then I have, you know, uh, actually that's an actual glass eye, and. That I think is just a prop glass eye, and, and oh, what is all this stuff? It's just you know, it's just nothing. But you know, it is kind of when <coughs> I think about this. It's just an artificial little stage you know that's just that that's all you know to be talking in front of a camera and this little artificial backdrop is it's just a dumb little stage in a sense you know and, and uh, all the world's a stage And, and all the men and women merely players Exits and entrances. Uh. They have their exits and entrances, and one man plays many parts. His axe. Being seven ages. At first.
first. There's the infant. Mewing and puking. In his nurse's arms. And then the schoolboy. With satchel. With shining morning face. Creeping like a snail to school, unwillingly. And then the lover. with a wonderful ballad sung to his lover's eyebrow. <laughs> then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like a pard. Jealous in honor sudden quick to quarrel seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. And then, and then, the justice. In a fair round belly. With a good keep on. Line. Good keep on line. with his eyes severe. And his beard former cut. Full of wise saws. In modern instances, So he plays his part. <sighs> the sixth stage shifts into a lean and slippered pantaloon. With spectacles on his nose. 
and pouch on the side is youthful hose. Well saved. A world too wide for his shrunk shank. Big manly voice. Turning again to change <laughs> and pipes. <laughs> and whistles and hit sound. Listen to sound. <sighs> the last scene of all <sighs> that ends this strange, eventful history is second childness and mere oblivion sans teeth sans eyes sans taste sans everything Shakespeare as you like it Sorry, it could have been a little better. But what is this? Hey, we all go about our day thinking we got all the time in the world. And yet we rush. Get out of my way. I don't have time for that. How arrogant. How vain. We're so serious. Therefore, I'm important. No, not them. Only select few the for me that I mm, eh. We're look lucky. We go about that a lot. Not just me, not just that person. This is like general human nature trend. Oh I'm so serious. Oh get out of my way, I'm so important. It's all what I can get from you out of this world. What can I get from me? And yet, all material, vanity, and what we forget is our time on Earth, on this planet, our time alive is unknown. We don't take it for granted. We're going to live a long time. It's unknown. Anytime. And so, in a sense, we're kind of lucky that we have this plague. I call it a plague. Because I said it's a plague. It's a viral plague all over the world. We're kind of, in a sense, lucky. It gives us a wake up call. Because now life's a little bit more dangerous. We never know when. And don't give me that. You catch the thing, you could die. Someone you love catches it, they could die. So now there's an element of danger in there, a real danger in our ordinary mundane selfishness. So we're kind of lucky. We're given a reminder, like this is a reminder. We're not long for this earth. 
and don't think because you're young you got longer or that you're old don't think you're gonna die no one knows no one's time only knows and so we make fun of this horrible tragedies and stuff in the world and all these things hey where are you where do you stand where do you stand in all this my opinion matters not and I can talk like Yoda can I help you I can't <laughs> but this can be many things as one prop one man plays many parts and in a big part is we're not promised tomorrow welcome to Mongus Max Hawaii right now this is a series called newspaper where I go over the morning news and I make fun of the headlines like a very uncouth care not critic or cynic actually I care a lot but that's not so fun so I basically do it mostly out of cynicism plus it's a nice vent because maybe I can say something that everybody's thinking and they wish they could say that too and maybe I can say this too it's just like I'm alone in my room but it gets published on YouTube so I'm gonna tell you some of the realities going on behind this but it makes it less funny <laughs> I can be politically correct I can frame it so that you, you don't want to see my junk my brother said that too don't show them junk well, that's the way it is and uh, that's the only space I have so um, I'm throwing these little crumbs off for the newbie tubies that then like me I'm a newbie tubie I mean, totally just been at this for a little bit I have a couple videos I posted like friggin years ago but eh you know it's just Toastmaster speech I did for the Illuminati Satanist Vatican trifecta of all kinds of stuff. It's like the conspiracy theory of uh, all this stuff. I don't know if that's true. I know some pieces, elements of truth go into those things. I'm kind of, actually, I'm pretty skeptical when it comes to um, conspiracy theories because uh, I think a lot of crazy people are out there. Like me, I might be crazy in a good way, but there's crazy in a bad way, and they can lead people down the wrong path, and I completely morally disagree with it. I don't care if you enjoy objective or subjective discourse on morality. I just think that's wrong, basically. That's freaking wrong, and they should be, I don't know, keel-hauled. Uh, I don't know, whatever the fraternity hazing would be appropriate. And, um, and shuffling of the paper. I know it's very loud. I did it overboard one a couple of times because I thought, hey, it's part of the funny. But it is kind of loud and it is kind of annoying. And I got the whole Sunday paper here, so there's going to be a lot of shuffling. So, you know, brace yourselves, you little snowflakes. <laughs> no, I totally appreciate my subs. I honestly do. I wish there was a lot more subs. I wish people would watch these things all the way through. Turn off the volume. Go freaking do anything else. Set up a whole playlist of my stuff and just set it to go. Let it play in the background. Turn up the volume. Yeah, I'm shameless. I, and I'm not going to pander around. I'm like, yeah. I want to try to make uh, a lot of viewing hours, uh, a lot of subs, and comments. I'm, I'm open. Just write down comments. Man, tell me, what do you like about this? You know, give me some clues. You don't have to be like, I'm not asking comments like, kiss my ass. But if you want to, hey, it makes me feel better. <laughs> Oh, someone appreciates me. But, hey, what do you like? What don't you like? You know, just kind of be easy. I got you. I think I want to take things hard. I'm new to this. So new people um, like me, do what you can. What's in your reach? What's possible? And don't be afraid to do something. Make mistakes. Who cares? Right? Oh, I'm going to make a perfect production. Hell. Those people are making, you know, they got unions and unions. I was a background extra one time for a TV show called uh, Fantasy Island. They had Malcolm McDowell on it. 
I thought he was cool because I was like, this Malcolm freaking McDowell. You know, he's the guy, Clockwork Orange. Ah, oh, my little droogies. I feel like that right now. That, I don't know who wrote that book, Adel Suxley, one of these strange authors. Adel Suxley, I think, wrote that one. A Clockwork Orange. And they made, Stanley Kubrick made it into a movie. Malcolm McDowell was the character in it. And there's Malcolm McDowell eating sliced cucumbers. I even had my own written screenplay I was going to show up to him, but I just, I said, I just want to say, hey, you're Malcolm McDowell, and I shook his hand. I was amazed. I'm fan struck with some famous people. Other famous people come up, I like say, do you know me? I'm like in Dawson Creek, and I, I, I never even watched Dawson Creek. I have no idea. It's like you're a dude that looked like you bottle you know peroxide blonded your hair I don't know what the fuck I don't know who you are so I don't know some famous people but other famous people oh Malcolm McDowell and I was in the shot in the background at a bar you know I, I had a problem with drinking so now I had a drink thank you and it was the apartheid Venus Peter Sancti Venus Sancti Venus Vini Sancti Spiritus, Vini Sancti Spiritus, Vini Sancti Spiritus, Vini Sancti Spiritus, which is Latin, let me tell you, Latin for come Holy Spirit, as in the almighty triune, ultimate, most holy triune God, the one that Catholics go in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, because that's my faith. I gotta work at it. <clears throat> Other faiths are okay, and I even look at it, and I'm like, you know, I investigate some stuff like that, I, hey. But that's my faith. That's what I'm trying to make work for me. Hey, I can show it to you because that's what my reality is. This is what I have to work with as far as believe this and the Holy Bible. Believe so. Oh, I share that because I'm going to be working with higher power or what anyone will call God because it's an integral part of if or if not there is evil. Well, there's bad things in the world, but evil as in the devil, does that exist? No, if you don't believe in God, how many people believe in God? And there's less and less people believing in God. So that functions as part of that spook 101. I'm making that a category. And there's stuff, junk stuff in there. You know, and that, that's just the way it is. I'm part of Toastmasters. I should be speaking like an expert pro. I'm, I'm going, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, mm, which you're not supposed to do. Because it makes it junk, junky speech. Or say stuff like, you know, you know, you know, and I'm doing that all the time. How many years have been in Toastmaster? And I still talk like a complete idiot. So, well, not all the time, but, you know, I should be like, Mr. Polish Speechmaker. No. You know why? Because I'm sick of the world being... I'm so serious, therefore I'm so important. I'm freaking sick of that. I get uh, sick in the gut with people who are very arrogant, you know, and so sure of themselves, and so arrogant, so vain, like so philosophy people who explained away God. Well, who the hell are you to explain away God? Oh, well, you got your thing all together. Well, hell. You're using books of these people that spent their whole lifetime being an atheist, explaining away God, and they got a whole theory, and you got like 15 books, about 15 theories, and you're piecemealing them together. They blah, 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 look out there, look at Who the hell are you to say God don't exist in the first place? I'm just one person. That's the way I look at it. Hey, you know, in a sense, I shouldn't be talking about that stuff. Let you, let everyone else find out for themselves. Because, pfft, yeah. You know, as the A stuff goes, either God is or God isn't. That doesn't mean God is or God isn't, as in they proved it. That means you get to choose. And only you, that's right, I'm going to say you right now. I usually don't go like you, you, you. It's kind of uncomfortable. What are you talking about? Who do you think you are? Oh, me? How about you? That kind of crap dysfunctional family member stuff I can learn from that I can share that might be helpful just like a do-it-yourself video except this is more insane now in the, in the God stuff this is like you you higher power that just means God that's it even this big book 
of, you know, that I'm not supposed to say the secret 12 step name, just the name. The rest of it's wide open for. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's another category I just thought of. Yet, God is or God isn't. All that means is you have a choice. Now, you can choose and go back on your choice, but you have one choice. You can choose that God exists. Or you can choose that God doesn't exist. God is or God isn't. That's all that means. It breaks it down to something simple. So there's something simple for you. And this is obviously going to be a long video. I'll probably make two of them already. Because it, see, doing this kind of thing, it just chews up my time. And because I'm so vain with my time that when you chew up my time, I get a little angry. You see? Acting. There's a feeling. No, there's a feeling there. This is chewing up time because <clears throat> I wish to make video content which is honest to you as viewers. You're going to take time and watch some of my stuff. I'm just not saying, hey, watch my videos and, you know, you know, yank on my chain. <laughs> Do it for me. If you're going to watch my video, then I'm going to try to put out something that's going to help you or entertain you or inform you or all of the above in a fun way. Mongoose Max Hawaii, the Mongoose Invasion. And look at a pandemic and get through this thing. You know, a couple years, we're going to be walking around with freaking, you know, you go into the doctor once a year and you get your freaking COVID patch and Everyone's picking their nose and snotting all over each other just like they used to be. Ooh, money grabbing and get out of my way. I'm in a hurry. I'm so important. Yeah, I need more money than you got. People with a lot of money don't want to give because they look at other people with more money and all they want is more. They got more money than I got more money. They want more money and more money and crabs in a bucket, buddy. But God... God takes a back seat. As Bishop Batman, and I say that in a fun way, also because I don't want to name people. I found the value in just give a cool little nickname. <laughs> that to me right there is Bishop Batman. It's Bishop Baron, Robert Baron. He's a damn cool bishop. He's a Roman Catholic guy. He talks like a college professor, but he's very well informed. Very well informed. And he, it's not just college professor. He's a freaking damn good speaker. You listen and you want to listen. And that sort of stuff is admirable. And plus his motive behind what he says. Now, what I do, since this has gone a little talk video, talk story, what I'm doing is just making series. There's going to be the Spook 101, the Paranormal, and the Devil Witch stuff. I call her a witch because I get tired of saying malignant narcissistic personality disorder who targeted their uh, uh, escape goatism upon me for 20, 30 years. Now, I mean, I'm not really functionally a part of their life. It's not a lover. It's not nothing like that. I, I, I'm just like this bystander. And for 30 years, I've been catching it. My mom's a target, too. And she's like, oh, we're going to be almost, oh, she's going to be 90. And she lost her husband. So she's been a widow for mm, six years. So there's some definitely evil things in the works that go on and I have to not get angry over it not a, a drink over it and lead a happy life with no job because becoming a caretaker has ruined my career in education not like I like the education the world but there's the fact I'm going to be I'm already like the disabled broke old guy 
my book's been written and tomorrow's never promised see I think I know the future but I don't I think I know it it's intellectual pride and these things which come into our life you know I'd rather believe even if I can't prove it I'd rather be a believer I can't explain it but it makes me feel a little bit more happy and there's reasons and I'll go over that in probably some of that other stuff but the spook stuff goes in spook 101 newspaper goes in newspaper that's why this one's already talk story so I apologize this is talk story I'll do a newspaper one in a second there's gonna be some shuffling of paper so brace yourself I apologize for calling you snowflakes it's actually a chop <laughs> Also, what was it? Oh, I want to explain. This is, I found out what the word apologia means because of watching all that atheist stuff. Now I'm watching near death experience crap. Is there an afterlife? I thought it was, I'm actually doing research behind the spook going on one thing because I want to give you something that's more informed, not just, uh, I thought about this on the top of my head. And yeah, I make voices. Because acting is just fun. Uh, I don't think God put us on this earth. And I'll talk like that too. I don't think God put us on this earth just to be miserable. Nah. Doesn't make sense. But people like to make other people miserable. But people like to stay stuck in their misery. And that little vicious cycle continues on. So, one of my reasons is this channel is to break that out. Look for interesting topics. They're interesting to me. They got to be interesting to someone else. And there's my outreach, right? Now, I'd love if I had Patreon and I was monetized and I was making this a career. I'd be really baking some stuff. But, you know, I was a background extra on that Fantasy Island. Sorry, I got a tangent. I got to bring in my tangents. <clears throat> Yeah, I saw Malcolm McDowell. I was all impressed. I shook his hand and I'm like, uh, I like your work with Stanley Kubrick. And that's, I felt like stupid. And that's all I said. Didn't even ask him his autograph. Probably would have given it to me. And then I was in that thing. I was in a bar scene drinking water out of a weird looking martini glass. Point of that. What's your point, mongoose? Well, the point, Max, is this. I saw all the background crew. There's a crew for electricians. There's a crew for the lighting. There's a crew for this. There's a crew for that. There's the assistant director who's not the director because he's doing a kind of a unit scene. So he's assistant director. He's yelling at everybody, trying to be so important by being the most angry guy, yelling the loudest in the room. Yeah, 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 yeah. The director on... This, he, you know, it's like me. I'm an actor in life. I'm not a director in life. But people have to be leaders and directors, but there's people that take it upon themselves to freaking tell people what to do and control them. <clears throat> it's in a bad way. There's some of that's in a good way. So, you know, if I had all that behind my channel, I'm like playing all the many parts, all the hats. And so, this is not about me being pitiful of my poor story. It's apologia. It's apologetics. It's a branch of study. It's not about, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Although I love to say that because it sounds like that. Apology. Apologetics. Oh, it's the art of saying I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not that funny. Apologetics is explaining oneself uh, giving reasons why explaining why you did that why did you do that so people have that question why did you do that it's such an important question murderers murder okay the person murdered and they want why did you kill that person why did you rob that bank in criminology it's all over the place in all places in acting okay oh you're a method actor well you feel that way, but why do you feel that way in your part? <clears throat> and then when people 
get confused or have misunderstandings. Why did you do that? And they try to explain themselves. They instantly shut the door. You're making excuses. See, making excuses is one thing. It's no excuse. But you can allow the person to explain why. Because there might be a misunderstanding. See, why am I doing this? What is that? I'm explaining. There's, it's more than just, you know, hey, I'm making fun. <laughs> yeah, of course, it was so good. interesting that I just talked out my time limit and kept talking. That's how, see, I got so self-absorbed. How important what I'm saying, what I got to say. But apologetics is telling, well, what's, what's behind it, okay? If someone tells me, oh, the world is flat, and yeah, yeah, blah, blah, there's a movement, right? I don't know, somebody must have started that movement and see how many suckers they could get to follow them and how big they can make them. It's probably a big joke, if you ask me. But no, the world is not flat, okay. Oh, I made him say that. But if somebody came up to me and said the world is flat, I, I could just know that they're wrong and just be kind of polite and ask them, why do you think that? And be a bro and listen, even if it was a total stranger, take a little time. What, your time's so special you can't invest that's true charity you know some people think charity is giving money giving your time and your effort like i'm doing now to help out i'm trying to just be helping out too not just trying to make money of course i'm trying to make money yeah that's a goal right now it's at zero just to let you know but that is a real goal and i'll even joke about it and i'll be open and honest about it but that's not the main goal of this channel. No, I'm doing this because this is like a great platform to have a voice and do stuff. <sighs> but if somebody asks me if the world is flat or, or they say the world is flat, why do you think that? Be charitable, listen. Be charitable, give some of your time. Be charitable, put some of your effort into that that's living that's stopping the smell of the roses anyhow you know i gotta stop this because now this is a big talk story about me yeah. so yeah i give credit where credit's due thank you will shakespeare for writing that stuff thank you people who made electronical stuff thank you this thank you that thank you people who put in your effort thank you thank you thank you to people but who made people who gave them the power to even live and work, or who gave them the power to even have those talents. For me, it's God. So, first and foremost, thank you, God. I'll stop there. Boy, trying to take constructive criticism, but I don't know, I'm still chewing on it, like how much it is. You like this new crop so you don't see my junk? Because basically I know you want to see my junk. <laughs> I got plenty of junk I can show you little bits at a time I thought about that but taking constructive criticism and uh, I'm still chewing on what's applicable what's within my reach but I will try to tell you the channel thing and whatever the newspaper thing is the newspaper thing I'm just making a bunch of those because right now that's what I can and I don't know don't bother me right now with what I cannot and so there's that blah, 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 blah. no it's super long no one's gonna watch it but i don't care there it is the apologetics it's giving you the backstory why i'm not trying to make excuses i'm not trying to get pity although please 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 subscribe please watch other way through yeah but i'm not trying to manipulate you through pity <clears throat> you know if you don't don't just don't. I, I don't do everything. I'm not trying to complain, but it'll sound like complaints, but apologetics. It's not about complaining. It's not about making excuses. But when people hear those things that sounds like that, they'll shut the door 
and it's like wait didn't you want to know anything in the first place no i just wanted to say that's wrong do it different <laughs> thank you director uh where's my paycheck i don't work for you right so so for right now think of it this way in a way i work for you guys my subscribers <clears throat> so you can add and put stuff in the suggestion box and be greatly appreciated you have a wonderful day hang loose as always aloha